I'm like a world renowned chef or something like that. And um, I basically just found this subreddit called r slash bad food porn, which showcases some of the worst food assembled by humankind. I took 10 of my favorite posts on there and I'm going to try to recreate the food, eat it, and then give it a rating. But first, hey man, this video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. They make all your favorite childhood cereals, but minus all the sugar and stuff that makes your tummy upset the next day. And I know it's the beginning of the new year. You guys are probably trying to, you know, get all healthy and stuff, you know. New year, new me, you know what I'm saying? And people, oftentimes what they'll do is they'll, they'll like cut out junk food out of their life. And then they'll try to convince themselves, like rewire their brain that Brussels sprouts are actually like nature's candy. It never works. It never works. Willpower is a lie. That's like, that's that shit's fake. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to replace your temptations with healthy alternatives. So instead of eating like sugary cinnamon cereal that I like, I just replace it with magic spoon cereal. Zero grams of sugar, 13 grams of protein, four net carbs per serving. And they got the whole lineup, dude. Look at all these flavors. And, uh, and it still tastes like bomb ass sugary cereal. And I need you guys to stay healthy, live long lives for like ad revenue reasons. So if you're trying to get healthier, cut some carbs from your life, go to the link in the description or go to magicspoon.com forward slash General Sam. Use code General Sam. Get $5 off your order, any order, or you can get like a variety pack thing, get $5 off that. That way you can test all the flavors. And this isn't some like next level grift or anything. Like this is, they have a 100% money back guarantee. If you buy it and go like, I don't much care for this. I wish I would have spent my dollars elsewhere during these trying times. I mean, they'll give you your money back. They'll, they might make fun of you for talking like a fucking loser, but <laughs> they'll give you your money back. So go to magicspoon.com forward slash General Sam and use code General Sam for $5 off. My boss eats this depressing lunch every day. And let me tell you something. If you're looking at that going, hey, it's a sandwich. What are you going to do? Let me tell you something. The, a lot of these bad food porn recipes, these are just uh, people <coughs> hating on the poor because that's a very normal school lunch for me. Personally, I don't know if I'm just like built different, but that doesn't look that bad. And secondly, that looks like something my mom would fucking pack me in uh, when I was in elementary school. So, you know, forgive me for knowing the exact ingredients. Rice cakes. Uh, you know, they didn't have the circular ham that made that picture look so good, so I figured I would white trash it up a little bit more and got some uh, Oscar Mayer bologna. And then some provolone. I can tell you right now, this ain't gonna be that bad. Dude, what, actually, what was the killer growing up is when uh, my mom would do a rice cake, peanut butter, and jelly sandwich. Those kind of fucking slap, all right? You're a psycho. I don't care if you're like a bad food porn moderator. You're a psycho if you don't like rice cake, peanut butter with like banana slices on it and shit. Oh my, nothing wrong with that. Now for the uh, taste test. This one's just a sad eat. The saddest part about it is it says my boss eats this depressing lunch every day. His boss, the guy that signs his paychecks can only afford to eat this. Dude, you're gonna have to do some corporate climbing, okay? If the guy that has the job above you eats this shit, you're making like $4 an hour. Compared to its contemporaries, you know, compared to the other poor people food on the list, I would much rather have like ramen or a tortilla with peanut butter in it or um, <laughs> grits. <laughs> There's a million other things I'd rather have than this. Palate cleanse. Uh, this guy made a pasta burrito wrapped in rice paper. Behold the atrocity of man. Look, I get it, rice paper, not supposed to be used to make burritos out of fucking beefaroni and stuff. Let me tell you something. I like all the ingredients. All right, it's just packaged weird. That's all the, it's like if someone hits you in the face with a water balloon made out of a condom. Is there something inherently bad? No, he didn't put his cock in it first. It hasn't been up someone's ass. It's just a water balloon made out of something incorrectly. That, so something's off. 
So why not repackage your beefaroni into a rice paper wrapping? I feel like it's gonna be a slam dunk. Uh, unfortunately, my grocery store is kind of running low on a lot of stuff, so the only thing they had was a massive can of beef ravioli, which I figure is not that much different, let's be honest. I got spring roll wrappers, which I hope is basically rice paper. Oh, they call them rolling papers on the back. First time for everything, you know. This is the tricky part right here, it seems like. Oh God, gotta catch it before it catches on it. Oh, and it sticks to itself too. Damn, not bad for my first rodeo, don't you think? Look at that. Now, if that doesn't look like a tasty little lunch there, I don't know what does. I want to die. That's what's up. This one's, I told you, dude, it's going to be better the second time. This one is freaking perfect. That thing might even be watertight. What's that? You want soup, but you don't have the, you know, you didn't want to bring the bowl, the ladle, the thermos full. Just bring this shit on the go, baby. Your friends never expect you to pull ravioli out of your pocket. Feels like a dead rat or something that's hairless. Like it's, this feels like grandma's skin. And so when you bite into it, I feel like I'm just biting into like a recently dead uncooked creature. This is like skin. I feel like I just bit off a chicken's head. This one's like a four out of 10 dog. This is not good. Sometimes, you know, there's really no fruit to be had by innovating. This guy tried to take what is a common sandwich and bring it to the next level. You can't hate on him for that. The try which, I'll admit, it's a radical idea. I'm curious to try it out. But just looking at this thing, it leaves something to be desired. All I've had to eat today is an iced coffee. So this, this try which, you know, Love it or hate it for the assembly, uh, but the, uh, I mean, come on. It's bread, peanut butter, and, and banana slices. Like, you, this can't go wrong. This is the point when the guy that made it should have said, this is a fucking stupid idea. So you have to do a backwards fold. Uh-huh. And then you adhere half of each bread slice. That. And then you leave that one open for the front face this one and there you have it ladies and gentlemen a completed tri -witch. voila there was too much ambition here how the fuck are you supposed to eat this thing nothing slaps harder than white bread this shit good this thing's getting a nine out of ten Part of me wanted to find things that I thought weren't that bad, but then they acted like they were like the tri witch. You know it was gonna taste good, but then they, they it was the presentation that threw these people off. People on r slash bad food porn, they're sticklers about the presentation. If it looks bad, they're giving it a bad rating. Some of this stuff on here ain't that bad. This is one of those that I know is going to be bad, and I didn't. What the fuck? Who does this? Oh, it's so sweet smelling, dude. Come on, this is gonna taste like dog shit. Oh, that's some piping hot Powerade. Woo, then some good looking noodles. Bright blue, yep, just like the pitcher, okay. If there's any Italian people here, I wanna apologize. That's a sweet noodle. It's like candy meets noodles. Actually, not as bad as you'd think. 
I'm giving this a, uh, a why out of 10. Why would you do this? In this dish's defense, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think there's a way to get that taste without doing that exact process. Like there's no way to like boil noodles and then I think like mix like syrup in the noodles or something like that. Like these very much have the texture of noodles still, but they're just inherently a little bit sweet. So I guess if you were putting this into something, this step might be necessary, but you would have to be doing some Nikola Tesla like insane theory crafting of, of dishes in order to even begin the Powerade boil. Five out of 10. Ambition, theory crafting, ingenuity, 10 out of 10. My question to the community, to r slash bad food porn, why is this on there? This isn't bad food. This is normal people food. This is what a normal low income family would eat. You got a problem with low income families? R slash bad food porn? Not everyone grew up on Turducken and uh, what, what do rich people eat? I don't know, daiquiris and shit. I, don't, <laughs> I can't think of, well, what is a rich person food? Yeah, not everyone had eggs Benedict in the morning. All right, some of us had shaky cheese on some noodles with butter. There's nothing wrong with this. And this is also a common thing to eat when you're like five years old because you don't like the sauces, okay? But there's nothing wrong with this. This is perfectly viable. Hey, bottoms up, baby. I know this one's gonna be good. Fuck yeah. What's not to like? What's not to like? What's that thing that the, the bald guy does? Uh, binging, binging with Babish? He'll do like, this is a clean plate special or whatever. Even with the Powerade funk that's still in the bowl, not half bad. Eight out of 10. That shit is good. And if you eat this, don't let anybody shame you. You do you. But if you eat the Powerade noodles, seek help. Something's wrong in your life. There's undiagnosed trauma there, and you need to get it resolved. I wanna finish this video, but at the same time, I just ate so many damn noodles, I'm kinda, my tummy's a little bit full. Dude, this next one, 26,000 people are out of their fucking mind. This guy just posted this absolutely Mac Daddy grilled cheese, acting like it's a bad, if someone's, if your friend serves you this, I would eat that, that looks fucking great. What's wrong with that? That's a bomb ass uh, sandwich. Grilled cheese, it's got hot dogs, pickles, cheese. What more do you want? People that upvoted that, fuck you. I can't wait to eat it. Cut the hot dog in half here. With this knife that I bought Abby for chopping up baby food and she didn't seem that impressed with it. So I was like, fuck it, I'll take it. I don't give a, it's like a giant, I don't know why I bought this for her. She loves cooking and she has like, She's like, I have nice knives. I don't need your fucking shitty little knife. I'm like, all right, bitch. Love you. Lay pickle on there. Another thing of cheese. Fuck it, why not? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hell yeah. Whoa. It's the, the flip is what separates the boys from the men. Look at that. Textbook. <laughs> have you ever seen? A fucking brown, that brown before! You gotta cut corner to corner because uh, it tastes better in triangles. I don't even have to taste it, I know it's good. I know it's good just from the ingredients. But I'll taste it. It's like a white man's Cuban. What's wrong with that? A white man's Cuban sandwich. Now that little piece of cheese there ain't as melted as it could be, but that's a damn good sandwich. That's pretty damn good. Eight out of 10. These people were trying to blend, you know, the bougie and the white trash and kind of uh, all into one. And I think they did a pretty damn good job. And I, I, can, I can replicate this. All I have to do is cook some dino nuggets. But um, 
movie magic, I already cooked the dino nuggets. I got them right here in the air fryer. That's called being prepared. Try it out sometime. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know how to make orange chicken sauce and I couldn't find any at the store. And so I had my wife who is like really good at cooking stuff. Uh, I got her to make me some orange chicken sauce and it smells fucking good. So give that a little dosy -si dough -do over there on top of that chicken. And then you got the sesame seeds. I can tell you right here and now, this one's gonna be bomb. One of two reasons. One, I love dino nuggets. You never get too old for dino nuggets. It's food that tastes good, that's also in the shape of dinosaurs. And two, orange chicken fucking rocks. Oh yeah, that's good. User Ming Mao, you're onto something. You're onto something. Not bad. Seven out of 10. This next one is just, is just plain desperation. You can tell this guy uh, got uh, probably inebriated with some substance and just decided, fuck it, dude. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking put together some shit and it's probably gonna be good. So this guy decided, uh, you know what, what if I take bagel pizza bites, little bagel bites, and simply make a sandwich out of them. Put a chicken nuggy, take another bagel bite, mush it into a sandwich. The only people that wouldn't eat this are stone cold sober or women. Let's be honest. Look at that, it's like half of a pizza bite with a fucking chicken nugget inside. You know what the inside looks like. I'm just trying, I'm buying time until this thing cools down. It is piping hot. Right. Oh my God. You know, Coca-Cola, this could be a paid advertisement, you know, if you like, if you sent me some money. That'd be a symbiotic relationship. I know you guys are hurting. Huh? Cut Daddy Sam a check. I'll say whatever the fuck you want me to say. What's that? Coca-Cola wants to start a race war? I'll take a side. I don't give a shit. Whatever side you want me to take, Coke. I'll do it. Send me a check. What is it with pizza bites, hot pockets, and bagel bites? They, on the surface, can seem like they are a stable, warm temperature. And then you bite into that fucking thing, and it is like the surface of a dying star. It is so fucking hot. I'm fucking sober right now, so I'm gonna give this thing a six out of 10. 6.5, I don't wanna upset anybody. 6.5 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. I have been dreading this one because it's like the top post on the entire fucking subreddit and I just don't wanna do it because it's gross. It's, uh, it's got two ingredients, refried beans and a tortilla. And the guy just takes the refried beans out, shakes them onto the tortilla and rolls it up and eats it. Not looking forward to it. And honestly, like what makes it even more unappetizing is the fact that that shit ain't heated up. It's in a Tupperware container. It's uh, just, you can see it's just sitting there. The fucking beans still have the can lines on them. I'm not looking forward to it. Give this can a little open here. Come on, get out of there. I need to release the suction up top because I want the can lines just like this guy has. I'm gonna open up both sides so this thing can just slide on out like a big turd into my mouth. Oh, instantly it's... <laughs> Yep, that's how I want it, right there. That's looking good. I don't want to do this. Oh, it's so wet. Can I heat it up? Like, <laughs> can I do anything to this? I mean, I know the guy just hit it raw dog, but I really don't want to eat that. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, I am not eating this whole thing. That's not, that, that's not gonna happen. That is a lot of refried beans. 
I'll take a bite and I'll give you guys a rating. Deservedly so, I think the top post on r slash bad food porn. It's so cold. Holy shit. Oh, DC coming in for the win, baby. It has nothing to do with the ingredients. I love tortillas. I love refried beans. But this is too much. There is too much. I'm, no, that is a one out of 10. Whoever made that's a fucking animal. And after eating it, I feel less human. I feel like I should go out in the backyard and eat fucking grass to settle my stomach. The last one is what I think is the grossest one I found especially after experiencing a previous one that we did. This one is a refried black bean burrito made with the rice paper. So I'm fully expecting, I'm just so demoralized now. I just don't even know what to do with my life. This fucking sucks. I, I wanna eat dinner with my family tonight and I made this stupid video and now I'm just in a bad fucking, my tummy's all messed up. And I was hoping that this stuff would be more like Oh, like, look, it's a pleasant surprise. It just looks bad. But these last two have really, they're testing the limits of what I can eat and still be a happy camper. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. For a moment there, I almost flaked out. I'm really sorry. I'm not doing a pussy ass small one. I'm doing a whole big boy burrito with a big boy amount of black beans in it. So I'm a man. We're on the last one. I cannot flake out now. Oh yeah, this is coming together nicely. Beautiful. Got ourselves black bean burrito uh, in rice paper. Oh, this one's starting to fall apart. <laughs> Better get to it. Oh. It's the texture, dude. The texture's just off. <laughs> one out of 10.